hello everybody and in this video we will show how we can get some more insight about the data that we have from a single uh, csv file so after we thought we saw how we can list the top countries and the traffic that comes from them um, let's look again how the initial data look like and what um, fields we have if you notice here that you can see some fields for example latitude longitude anytime i see these two fields i get very excited because now i can map them to a map and get a visual insight of what's going on so first of all let's reduce this data into this three or four columns the country latitude longitude and date time and to do that i will run this command first of all i will just remember trying to remember what is the name so I call it all traffic so if I run all traffic control V it give me all the data now I can go ahead and select just specific fields of the data that I'm looking for I will use a date time I will also use country Sorry. and I will use this two interesting columns that I usually like to play with didn't copy and the longitude all right let me run this command now and here we go we have a table with these three values um, if you can see it almost turned all the data was 25 um, we need to see any integrity that happened to the longitude and latitude one of this method just to filter if you have a, sometimes they have a, like crazy values like 2000 and so on so before that let me try to plot what we have here with respect to latitude and longitude and to do that I will do the all traffic plot dot scatter let's see what it will give me by using the latitude or let me put the x and y here for the x value will be so because we're plotting in a screen the latitude and longitude will be switched a little bit so the x value will be the longitude And the y value will be the latitude. All right, let me run this key. Mm, you see, we have some excess values here about 2000, which is incorrect. So let's filter out data to remove these specific entries. And to do that, I will use a method uh, of filtering. So I will remove all the data that have a latitude more than 2000, for example. So I would say all traffic. Of whenever we have the all traffic dot the you can use the dot scalable for the fields here which is the latitude is bigger than twenty thousand 
let's let's run this command okay so it returned the the wrong data i don't need that i need everything that is less than 2000 and there okay now let me call it clean clean d and let it run it here now i'm gonna plot clean d and we do i will do the same commands that i did before before cleaning and see what is the difference here and let's run the clean data okay now we have now we have a scattered this is close to reality and if you look a little bit here what it assembles you it's really very close to the world map you have europe asia india africa uh, australia the americas so now we can get so this is just an example you can actually use some extra uh, to make it extra pretty, um, I would use a word map. I use the Geo Pandas library, and I will map this point to the Geo uh, uh, Pandas uh, library. It will be image over image. It will be look beautiful. But for now, just for illustration, you get the point how to use that. As a homework, um, I would like you to reach this spot and you upload this. A screenshot of the plotting of a scattered X and Y data. Thank you.